If I want to get this train running, I have to make a fire in the firebox. Heck, my hand won't fit through the gap. How will I ever reach the coal? Yes, that could work. Yes, yes, it worked. The coals are burning. Now I only have to disengage the immobilizer system and off we go. Hey, Spot, can you try to, I don't know, uh, somehow spool this thing open? Hey, wait a minute. I think I have a plan. There. And now for phase two of my plan, which is developing phase three. Yes! Yes, it worked! The immobilizer system is disengaged. Corona, I'm coming! I hope I'm not too late. Corona. Finally I have arrived. The only thing now is to find a way in. Grandpa used to rhapsodize about the beautiful landscape surrounding Corona. This little shrub seems to be all that's left of it. Hey, Spot, can you help me open the gate? I have no idea. Who knows what awaits you in there? One thing's for sure, though. It won't be easy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And, hey, Spot, if you manage to do it, I'll take back some of the things I said about you. Good luck, buddy. Hello, little friend. What are you doing here? You'd better find yourself a place to hide. Things could soon get very unpleasant around here. Soaked. Just wait, you little monster. Ah! 
Well, you don't see things like that every day. Well done, Spot. You really did it. I suppose it wasn't all that hard, but I'm proud of you all the same. And... Um, hello? Hello? Heavens, it's all deserted here. Where could the king be? Tedwick? What are you doing here? What do you think? I'm doing your job. Saving the world and so on. Oh dear, Sadwick. It's way too late for that. Yeah, whatever. You may as well rescind your responsibility. I will at least try, if you don't mind. If the world really has to end, at least it won't be my fault. You foolish plucky clown. Whatever have I drawn you into? You'd better hide. Quick! What's going on anyway? The end is near. The Askil are attacking. I know. I've just escaped from their hideout. You've been inside the Askil's fortress? And you're still alive? Well, if you can call it living. We could still prevent it. I've got the Whispering Stone, remember? You still have it? I mean, <laughs> of course you do. I've been planning this right from the beginning, which makes it all the more tragic that you're too late. <sighs> but don't be sad. I knew it was a risk involving an amateur. Right. Your plan was great, but it was me who dawdled too long, wasn't it? Don't be hard on yourself. I'm proud of you nonetheless. After all, you're not a chasky like me. Where is the king? He locked himself in his chambers. In order to get there, you'll have to go from the throne room through the astrolab. I'm afraid he's not well at all. What's wrong with the king? Nobody knows for sure. Perhaps the impending doom is eating him. Only one thing is certain. He is very weak. I bet I'll be sorry I asked, but... How did you get here? Ah, yes. That's a long and thrilling story. Uh, now, where shall I start? What happened at the shore? The shore? Oh, yes, I remember. Like it was yesterday. It was yesterday. I'd been sitting there alone for quite some time, practicing a secret chasky technique. The microsleep? I can do it under three seconds if my stomach's empty. Anyway. A cloud suddenly appeared in the sky. A gust of wind blew up strongly, and I began to shiver. I drew my knife and took out a couple of bombs that I still had in my backpack, just in case. I was all prepared when I heard a cracking sound from the underbrush. I tensed every muscle, and then... And then? Then I dropped everything, grabbed the backpack, and ran as fast as I could. What? When I turned around, I saw only a fox. But I had already left my hiding place. I was sure the Asgil had seen me. That's why I never turned back. It was simply too dangerous. Too dangerous? Too dangerous? I thought you had gotten into a fight. <laughs> Never. I'm too clever for that. You must mean gutless. I can't believe it. I traveled half of the world after you just because you were scared of a fox? It was a very big fox. Ah! Oh. 
how did you escape the Askill? The Askill? I haven't been to the Askill's fortress. You haven't? But the guard told me about a scrawny green prisoner. Scrawny? How did you get the idea that could have been me? I work out regularly. I'm way too fit to let myself get caught by the Askill. So you somehow outran them. Was there a chase? You bet. At least, if by outrun, you mean hide in a cave. And by chase, you mean collecting berries. How did you get back to Corona? On secret Chasky trails. Let me guess. You vanished in the thin air, and the wind blew you here? No, I had my hearthstone still set on the courtyard. I didn't hear that. What? Did I say anything? And that's what you call an adventure? No. I call that routine. As a Chasky, you experience so many incredible things. Not every critical situation gets you worked up anymore. <sighs> Obviously. And that's exactly the reason why you sit here so placidly. That's right. Even though the end is near and the Askill are attacking? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and one of them is even now standing right behind you? What? Ah! <laughs> yes, yes. You almost got me there, didn't you? You have to get up very early if you want to pull a Chasky's leg. A ten o'clock, do? Let's say eleven. I like to sleep late. I think I've heard enough. I know. My hair-raising adventures are not for the faint-hearted. You might as well stay here. I'll go and save the world. Always adhere to what I taught you.